Hello YouTube and welcome to our 80 Affinity 3D tutorial. Um, thanks for watching, I really enjoyed the fact that you watch it, but yeah. In today's tutorial what we're going to do is make the armour automatically scale to the size of the character. So if we just click maximise. So if we go next, so if we make them, say, really thin and click next and add a head armour, well the head armour is massive on them and we don't really need it, we need the head armour to be squashed or the cape to be squashed to fit them so it'll look really really better so what we can do is if we go to our armor select where it instantiates them which I believe there all we need to do is transform that local scale on it really and then that's it so what we're going to do is go next to it well next to the naming one and type spawning head next uh, dot transform dot local scale I don't know if that's right but dot x equals game object dot find uh, character dot transform dot local scale dot x now if we triple that and go y z z y and if we try that on one, no reference exception. Local scale is not a member of that. Did you mean local scale with a capital S? That's probably true. So copy this, paste it there, there, and there. Let's try again. No errors, great. So let's try it. So next, we'll make them really, really small. No, really thin. I do next there we go so that fits perfectly so if we just pause it and go and have a look we can double click our character there we go so the mask fits her as perfect as it would a tall guy so there we go yep so all we're going to do is copy that for the next one and the reason we're putting it at the bottom is one so that we can use this variable here and two, every time we click it again, it'll scroll down and then update it to the new character scale, which is kind of pointless because you can't scale it. We'll just keep it there anyway. It doesn't take much processing power. So this goes there, 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 and there. And our cape, I believe, is this one. So, and this one. There, there, and there. There, there, and there. So now anything we spawn should be the right size. Let's see. Next. So we'll make them really, really large but really small. And we'll click next. Add some head armor and some back armor. Click pause. Let's go and have a look. So the cape's not working as well as predicted. Um, let's have a look why. So, two zero point nine two, two zero point nine two. So the cape's just partial because if it's modelling, won't work on that, but it'll still look cool. Whereas if you look, the helmet works perfect. The cape should have worked, but I don't know why. Did we assign it? I believe so. Actually, oh wait, that does work. Never mind, but that the head works, which is the main one. So we don't instantiate anything else. But let's do a quick find just in case. Um, fixed, 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 fixed. That's it. So we've fixed everything. That's basically it for this tutorial. Next tutorial, we're going to add some sounds and then see if we can find any more bugs. If not, we're going to start exporting. So thanks for watching this short tutorial. And see you next time.